Check out this high-yield step one question. A 45-year-old woman comes to the clinic with a three-month history of painless, slow-growing mass under her chin. She denies difficulty swallowing or breathing and has no change in her voice. She has no significant medical history and takes no medications. On examination, there's a midline neck mass below the hyoid bone, and it's consistent with a thyroglossal duct cyst. Fine needle aspiration shows normal thyroid tissue, and we see during the operation that the thyroid gland is absent. Which embryologic failure is most likely the cause of the absence of the thyroid gland? Well, if we look at our patient here, and we see she has a midline neck mass below the hyoid bone, that's gonna be a thyroglossal duct cyst. We do an ultrasound and confirm it's not solid, then we know it's a cyst. And if the thyroid gland is absent in the pretracheal position, then that means it's ectopic thyroid tissue. And that means that the thyroid has never completed its descent. So the thyroid originates from the foramen cecum and it descends. And if you have failure of this migration, then you can get ectopic thyroid tissue, often in the tongue or along the midline. Apoptosis, that would be associated with things like webbed digits or syndactyly. Not relevant here. Problem with fusion would be like a cleft palate. You'd see facial prominences, things like that. And proliferation would more involve hypoplasia or aplasia. That is to say, a proliferation issue. And that's why for this one, our correct answer is going to be migration. If this was helpful, then like and subscribe.